Hey, what's up, guys? Just Ryan again from GFX Port. Uh, today, I'm just gonna be showing you how to make an easy tech button. Uh, it's a very easy concept. There's nothing too extreme. Just uh, basic stuff of cutting around a rectangular object and turning it into a pretty decent techy looking button. So first, you want to start off by making a new layer. I went with uh, for this one. I think it was 300 by 200. And you can start on with a white background, doesn't really matter. You can switch the colors up later. But first you want to make sure you have your rectangular marquee tool out. Make a new layer and make a rectangle. Alright, that looks good right there. And you just want to paint, uh, fill it in with any color, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so now you want to start going around and start making your cutouts. So you grab your polygonal lasso tool and you just start making selections. So we want to cut up this corner here, so we'll go like this. And then once you get your corner selected, you can bring it down a bit. Then you just simply press delete. And then for the middle part, if you hold shift, it makes it a straight line for you. So I suggest doing that. But when you're done doing that straight line, you can let go of shift and make your own little angle there. And you simply just delete that away. Then we go over to this uh, right side. And if your selection is not dead on, you can always adjust it. Like this selection is not going to be dead on for me, so I'll just simply adjust it here once I make get my selection done. Simply do that by pressing the up key and using your arrow keys to maneuver it around. So yeah, it looks good there, press delete. And as you see, our tech button is pretty much coming together. That's just the, the basic stuff right there. So we go to blending options, we can add a stroke to it. We go with, uh, I used a blue for the last one, so I'll try to do the same blue again here. So you just basically want to just go around, find your colors that you want to use. Like nothing's going to be perfect in this tutorial. It's always done on the fly here. I do one one thing before and then I try to duplicate it. It usually never turns out the same unless it's a filter effect or something of the sort. So we even go back to our stroke layer. We can add a gradient to it. from a darker blue to a lighter blue. Add some satin to it. Bring it to white. Lighten. Bring the opacity down. Add some inner glow. Normal. White. As you see, it's looking pretty sweet now already. Alright, so this is where the a little more difficult steps come in because uh, we're adding more layers. I'll just name this layer so I don't get lost. Alright, so I'm going to make a new layer here. I'll name this uh, Top Background. Simply just going to use my rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to make a selection in here. You actually want to kind of make a selection that's the same height of it that little delete space that we took out of there. And you can fill it in with any color because we're going to add some blending modes to it. So we'll go blending modes here. Gradient overlay. Change the white. We'll go with an orange. That looks pretty decent, sure. A bit darker orange. That looks good. Add a stroke. 1px. Alright, so I'm simply just going to move the layer down, just using the arrow keys, bring it down a bit. You can bring it down below, or you can match it up with the other lines. I like dropping it so it's a little bit offset, and it changes that stroke color a bit, makes it a little bit darker. There we go. 
right, so now we want to do the right side over here too. So we make a new layer just above the background. Colors. Right background. And we pretty much just duplicate the same steps that we did for the top background there. Fill it in. just a little bit lighter gray we don't want to offset too much because we will be putting it on the black background when we're done here well I will be at least and you can offset it too, bring it in a bit alrighty so we're pretty much getting there it's come together pretty decently make a new layer here pull out the rectangular marquee tool so you pretty much just go around and you just tack it out you add extra stuff to it Everything looks better if you put more time in it. So if you sit here and you do this multiple times, just keep adding on to it, it'll look better when it's done. And we'll bring out another layer. has to be perfect when you're doing it. I'm just cutting these off right now. Usually I do that when I'm finished. And we'll just duplicate this layer. Bring it down. Setting options, gradient overlay. Sold to again, tool again, with a new layer. We'll call this bottom tech. And this is just simply going to, I'm just going to make a, another tech here, but I'm not going to cut it out. Fill that in with black. Now we can zoom in, we can play with our line tool. Let's go with a white for the time being. So if you just want to go around the edges of it, holding shift makes that crisp straight line for you. So make sure to do that when you're doing straight lines. see that's looking pretty cool we'll zoom out that white's gonna be too bright I just picked white there because it's easier to see so we can change the color control you pulls up the hue slash saturation colorize it you see that looks pretty decent there Already our button slowly come together here. We can actually change the background color to black. I see the gray over here didn't turn out. It should be a little bit darker so it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. That's looking pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. This gray can be lightened a bit. Well, the black there. As you see, it comes up, so we can use our polygonal lasso tool again. Tool again. Bring it down. Simply just cut out all that stuff there. And this is on that that uh, grayish background I just fixed there. And press delete. And as you see, it's going to match up now with all this other stuff. And you can even play around like this is actually just on the fly now, compared from my my first result. And 
then we got these other layers here, like layer one, layer two, bottom tech. This is why it's a good, good reason to uh, save your backgrounds. Uh, well, name your uh, your layers. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, I just did that because it seemed pretty cool at the time, and it didn't actually turn out that bad. Alrighty, so now you just want to add your font. Techie buttons usually have like they put like zero two or something, so you want to find a nice square font or something that looks decent. We'll go with uh, we'll say eighteen just for a test here. Zero one, and you can put that to sharp or crisp. stroke to it, go with a light blue, bring that down to 1px, change it to lighten, or even overlay, and we'll go with lighten. Make a new layer here, and this is where if you were to have your button on your website or something, it'll say like home page or pretty much whatever is the link name that you want it to go to. So I'll fill this in with black, press control, well just D on your keyboard, reset your color palette for you. Fill that in with black, go into blending options, adding a stroke to it, going with another light blue, as you see it goes around the edge, it makes it almost look like it's indented. Go to light and play around with the blending modes if you want both overlay for this one and a great uh, pixel font that I've been using for many years like this dates back probably almost six years now for me is this font right here it is uh, aux.bitc it's a great font I suggest downloading it you got to use it with 10 PT though and you want to take your sharp off we'll go with a, just a white font here just to test this Blending options, you can add outer glow if you want, or even stroke. As you see, the stroke's not going to be turning out that decent. You can bring it down a bit, though. Play around with the color, 